Hello to all the head that sees in the land. I'm here with the boys. I'm here with Shane and Derek. And guess what, guys? I know as hairstylists, we get very, you know, locked up when we're blow drying, our shoulders hurt, when we're cutting hair, uh, blow drying hair, coloring hair, our wrists, you know, carpal tunnel. So we're at risk at all times. We're shampooing our client and we're like hunched over. And the next thing you know is we can't get back up. You know, we're like hunched like this, right? And our back hurts at the end of the night. And we do this all day long. So I decided to come up with a very fun, festive video with these hot boys with me who are all about fitness and training, right, Derek yes, and Shane? Absolutely. So you guys are gonna help me and all the hair besties learn how to stretch. Right? Yep. Yes. I think we can make it work. Stretching is important. Do you think it's important to stretch every morning period? Yeah, definitely. It's good to start your day with some kind of stretches, especially things that you're not doing on a regular basis because it gets your body kind of ready for that to start off your day. And I think a lot of people in general forget that and especially hairstyles we wake up and people don't think we work that hard when we really do, guys. Don't you guys agree? Definitely. So let's get started in learning some of these stretch moves. Are you ready? Derek is gonna show us first. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Obviously, so, you stretch all the time. I try to. I definitely do what I can. Okay, show me. What, what do I need to do? Okay, so, so a good thing, especially for people that have wrists or hand problems throughout their day, it's good that we want to make sure we're stretching our wrists by pushing and applying pressure backwards oh. and forwards, left oh. and right, because your wrists will start to tend up and cramp up by extending out your hands and fingers just like that. Pushing them in together will help elongate those little muscles Wait, so and tendons. Do you keep your fingers like this and then? Yes, and then push forward or applying pressure at the top of your fingers, just like this. Like just, this. Yep. And then go down the pipe. Oh, at the top of the yes, fingertips. Yeah, you feel that? You see how you feel yeah. the stretch? Just like that. So you know how you get cramped up? It's good to just kind of help push that. Yeah. Also making sure that you're consuming water throughout your day will help cramping and other things like that. Um, keeping balls, stress balls or hand, uh, cringes at your station will really help being able to relieve that pressure because the more you can build that strength up The more likely that you're gonna be able to last longer keep that in Do you recommend us do this between clients? Between clients, um, especially starting or ending your day is a good way to especially starting because then it's kind of like a warm-up for your hands Oh my gosh. So when you have when you're starting your day yeah. having like a stress ball Just in traffic when you get really angry yeah. at people just pick up your stress ball Kind of use that, it'll help. Yeah, rotating the wrists. Um, anytime you can find a flat surface too. So your counter maybe. Like like, yeah. like apply exactly. pressure. You exactly. know what's interesting? I feel that we stretch before we work out and but we forget to stretch be, before we go to work. Exactly. And that's kind of important because I feel like sometimes I'm cutting hair and then I get cramped up yeah. for no reason. And you're doing that longer than what you'd be doing for a workout. So you want to make sure that you're always staying loose okay. and stuff like that. So we got the fingers. The next yes. thing is neck, right? Neck, so what can we neck, do for our neck? Tighten up. Okay. Now you can always grab one of your salon buddies, <laughs> besties, and you can help get a rub uh, out if you want to. Uh, but something uh, else uh, that you can really work with is grabbing a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball and using a wall to be able to rotate along your shoulder. Oh, line. like a giant ball. Exactly, or so, something smaller. But, yeah. but, but, oh, but like in a salon we don't have balls. Do you, but you can carry a little tennis ball, right? A little tennis ball, okay. Yeah, exactly, and then you find a wall in your salon. Oh, okay, and, you and then just it. rub it, okay. Exactly, just up and down, side to side, or just by applying pressure. Sh sh show me what you can, what, what, how I can stretch my neck and shoulders. Okay, so neck and shoulders, what we'd want to do is just a typical roll. So you'd want to just feel the roll side to side and then forward, back and around, just like this. Oh, let's turn this way so they yep, can exactly. see anything. That works. Yep. yep, forward and back. And then what you would do is oh, you do that. Oh, my neck just popped. Exactly. And oh. then the other oh, way Oh, it popped again? <laughs> oh my God. This is so important. Why do I... What I like to do too is apply a little bit of pressure at the top of your head. So if you were to keep your hands just like this and then put them around your head. Like this? So, yep, interlocking just like that. And then you just pull a little bit forward, left and right. Now you don't want to do it too strong because you don't want to risk injuring yourself, but it's good just to elongate those muscles. Oh my God. Always, because you're always upright, right? So your head's never really technically always forward, you're more hunched over. So the more I you can feel stretch. I feel it right here. Down here, yep. And right down to my lower back. Yeah, should we do like, yes. like arms? And so what will also help your shoulders and your <gasps> neckline is bringing your oh. shoulders over oh. and across. Oh. I like to pull from my elbow, just like this, across like that? my oh, body. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then doing the same thing, but reaching back and over your head. Oh my God. Will help. I can feel the stretch yeah. right all <laughs> exactly. in here. Exactly, oh, and, then, and then push it. 
And then another thing that we can Derek, do Derek, you make me look so pale. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I think look, you got it. Uh, Let me find like this. We and, can and how I look I, a little bit wider. And then I stretch this. Yeah, always make sure you're doing both sides, trying to keep it as symmetrical you as know, possible. You know, it's no wonder I've been having shoulder problems because I blow dry hair all day long and all of this get locked yeah, up. Yeah, well, it's because you're like this all the time. Yeah. Instead of being able to open yourself up. So basically, do you think our posture is important while we're doing hair? Posture is huge. Like, okay, so we need to be standing yeah, straight. Yeah, you want to make sure you try and keep you standing straight because it's important to bend at your waist and not bending your Is this too straight? Time. That's a little too straight. Oh, uh, oh <laughs> so you're gonna want to I'm a little too straight. You're a little too straight. I'm a little too straight, guys. <laughs> okay, so, so is this so, perfect? Yeah, what I always like to do and tell people to do is to inhale because on a full <sighs> inhale, that's going to keep you all the way up top so you just breathe in like this <laughs> okay oh. and that's going to be your natural resting posture at this stop so and then when you're what you want to try and do is work on just bending more at the waist instead of always hunching over oh so when we bend we should kind of go like this like with our Almost. knees exactly. bend with our exactly. knees to go low but exactly. so you feel like to me people are just hunching like this all the time did you hear that it's guys easy. Oh my gosh, all this time we've been hunching at the shampoo bowl or hunching to grab something when we should just keep our back straight and then bend with our knees going up and down. So elbows? Elbows. I think elbows, it's going to be, again, more so <gasps> pulling and extending. It's always trying to get you to go into an opposite direction that you're always doing. So I like to apply pressure by pushing forward just pushing like that. Pushing forward like this. Yep. And or, morning and in between days. Yes. In between exactly. the days between Well, anytime, anytime you're feeling that, you want to just try and get that stretch in there because it's just tight. It's just a tightening yeah, of the I, tendons and muscles. I can't believe that we never do this waking up in the morning. I can't believe that we, as hairstylists guys, that we don't, we yeah, forget to do this. You're, you know what? You're too busy taking care of other people and you're forgetting to take care of yourself. <gasps> Did you hear that, guys? Hair besties, you gotta take care of yourself. We're too busy making our clients feel good and we forget about ourselves. And if our body is not healthy and together, we fall apart and we have nobody hairs to save, nope. right? Not right? Don't you agree? Do I agree. Oh and my you gotta god. You gotta take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else. All right, so we're gonna move on to Shane. All right, guys, I'm with Shane and he's gonna show us how to, what do you call it? Stretch. Well, we're gonna do a little lower body, a little you know, standing all day. Some some workouts that'll keep you moving, keep your blood flowing all day. Okay. Okay. So what do we do? And, and this is great for our open up your hips. Um, you know, work out your legs. Really stretch, stretch, elongate your spine. So I always you know start off by just doing a little bend over stretch right there. Touch the ground. Okay. So we're gonna have to bend forward. So stretch your. How far should we spread our legs? Like shoulder width? You know what? You actually want to switch it up. Have your feet close. Okay, have our feet close together. And then you want to have them step out a little bit. Kind of do whatever and, is most comfortable. And slightly spread our legs out a little bit. And then go side to side. Side to side. And why is this important? Oh, I can feel it in my you lower back. Your hamstrings, your lower back. You feel I, that? You're standing I can day. feel it in my lower back. All that tension builds up there. <laughs> my lower back. Oh my God, <laughs> it does work. Yep, the of harder. Course. Keep oh. those knees straight and it'll be harder oh. and harder. You'll feel it in your pull on your hamstrings. Okay, so don't bend your knees. So do not bend your knees, guys. Don't do, don't do that. Exactly. Keep it straight and then go from side to side. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So about about four times. Good. Okay. Yep. And that really helps our lower back. Okay, so now what? So now we're gonna wanna do some uh, knee holds. Carry these up. Yep, just, just right like there. This. And then really squeeze it in tight. Open up those hips. That'll you'll feel it in your lower back after you do it a couple of times too. Ugh. Get both both of them on there. So the key is, can I hold on to something if I'm not Absolutely. stable? Yeah, definitely. Or even step up on something. You really feel it in your hips right here. Standing all day it puts a lot of pressure on, on our hips. hips. Okay. Your lower back, and that really helps to. And these are up. simple things that we could do during the day when we wake up and in between clients. We just exactly. need to stretch up. Okay, a what bit else? Of stretch. Okay, we got um, that going. So we're always looking to, you know, work on that booty, right? So some air oh, squats. Air squats. Drop down. A couple air squats throughout the day. Do you know every hour? So I have to put my hands like this. Keep them out in front of you. Yeah. Like this. Perfect. Do I just have to stick my butt out like this? It, it helps actually. Like yes. this. Am I doing it right? Am I doing <laughs> that it right? Be, that might be a little much. But. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Shane, show me. Okay. Okay. What, what, what do I? Okay. Put okay. your legs closer together. Closer together. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And go straight down. There you go. Down. Down. Up. There you go. Up. Down. Perfect. Up. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me. All right, how about these ones? These are some other good ones. These are curtsy squats. So you want to step one foot back. Step one foot back. And then 
drop to that knee. What, what, drop that knee. Drop, oh my god. And then you want to do it the other side. So facing straight forward, cross completely. This is some um, advanced. <laughs> okay, so oh, okay, you're, there you go. you're oh. doing this. So again, that's going to open up those hips as you're stepping across and then help build that booty. So this helps the butt. This helps the butt, exactly. And Good. this stretches what? The hips, really hip flexors. And this actually helps give you energy during the day because one of the things I realize as hairstylist guys is I feel that we kind of lose energy midway through. We forget to eat, we get kind of tired, but what I noticed that after just doing this, with shame, what I noticed that like I'm pumped. I feel better. I'm ready to the go. Blood flowing. Oh my blood is flowing. <laughs> I have so much energy now. Come on, let's go guys. <laughs> See that? I think that just doing like four of these, it gets your heart pumping and you're ready to go. All right. What else you got for me, Shane? Right. Yes! We got a couple uh, line down stretches. This is really good in the morning. Oh, you wake let's get up. the mats out. All right, guys. So we have a mat on the floor now, and this is an exercise that Shane says is great for us to do in the morning. In the morning, yeah. After you've been sleeping all day, your your back is stretched out and everything. You're gonna wake up or all night. <laughs> <laughs> all night. Okay, so or show, not sleeping. <laughs> okay, sh sh show me what we're doing. Okay, so, so you want to put one knee over that one, and then your opposite elbow will go right here on the top of that knee. Uh, that one? one? Uh huh. Okay. Oh. On that side. Exactly. Oh, my back popped. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Perfect. And then you want to do the other side. And why do I keep forgetting to do this every morning? Beats me. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Yeah. Did heard you hear that. that? I heard that. My back is popping like crazy on its own. <laughs> but That's what it's supposed to do. You know what's crazy? Because I've been having major lower back pains lately. Really? And I, maybe that's the problem. I never stretch. Don't stretch enough. Oh my god, that feels Definitely so problem. good. Right in the so, morning, you get this before, before and after bed. So it's I'm going to show really a side view, guys. So you put your left leg your left, over. Yep, and then your opposite. Your right arm. Uh, elbow. Mm -hmm. You do a good stretch. Fresh. And hold it for like 10 a seconds. A couple breaths. Yeah, 10 seconds. Good. Nice squeeze. Take a couple of deep breaths, and then switch Perfect. over. Very good, yep. Put the next leg over, and then twist, and breathe for 10 seconds. Oh, your breath smells great, <laughs> I love it. Oh. So, you talked about lower back, right? Oh lower back pain, yes. so this one's really good for that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down completely flat, and then you're gonna take your right leg, and cross it over your body. And just oh my gosh! Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way so they can see it from the side view. Okay, okay all right, guys, watch. I'm gonna do it like that. Just like that. So lay down. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay. Keep that. Try to keep that back on the ground, and then just squeeze that over. Okay. Keep my whole your whole yeah, your whole back on the ground. So and my upper body upper has to body. face up. Yeah. You, what you really want to do is start start by laying straight real quick. Okay. So just like that. Now take your right leg up and over. And, and over. Uh -huh, and try and keep that. Keep my as, upper body as as straight up. Right. Like and this. then, like you said, if when you push. Oh. You, oh you yes. That, oh my God, that feels feel good. That. Okay, so now we need to do the other do the side. The opposite side, right? Okay. All right, I'm ready. Help me. Ready? Okay. Push it all the way down. Oh my gosh. And I, do you suggest a friend help or you can do this on your own? You can do it on your own, but having a friend definitely helps. So Derek is going to show us some stretches he's going to do on Shane. Just in case you guys have friends or partners out there, in between clients you could do this, okay? Go! Alright, sir. So we're going to start by laying down flat. Um, just a couple more kind of lower back hip stretches that we can do with a partner. First one I'm going to start off, it's always good to do. Um, I like to grab uh, the partner's leg and rest the Achilles or ankle uh, against my chest or shoulder. And then that way, instead of pushing the leg, which we can use more force, we tend to use more force when we're pushing, we can actually just put it here, it's a little bit safer, and you can just do a nice forward lean into your partner just like that to really uh -oh. help stretch out the hamstrings, also helping uh, stretch out the hips and just using a little bit more ability and the hip flexors. So we want to do that. And then we actually transition from here by then pushing the knee forward into the chest, still using the same idea of your body weight. Go ahead and put that foot into your chest. And if you're wearing something nice, I know hairdressers tend to wear aprons, so you can probably work this out if you wanted to. But again, just forward leaning right into the chest really helps stretch that lower back out. 
because you're pulling the glute muscle forward and then that helps release some of the tension and pressure on your lower back. And you will just do that for the exact same thing on the other side. And so you will hold that for about 10 seconds or something I, like 20? I would tend to do 20, 30 seconds. 20, yeah. 30 seconds. Just because oh. that, that pressure and tension will just help elongate that. Oh, wow. Over time. Okay, so then you would do the same thing on the opposite yes, side. Exactly, okay. Exactly. All right, so the, the next one. And the next one, what we'll do is just a little front to back. So we'll have spread the legs out, and I'm sure plenty of people have done these before. But first, what we do is just pull your partner here. Um, if they come forward, you can actually meet. Yeah, exactly. And so you pull. This will help kind of elongate some of those shoulders too, getting them nice and stretched out, relieving tension. Uh, back on your lower back as well, also helping stretch out your hamstrings. It's good to incorporate stretches like these, especially with partners, because you can push it a little bit farther uh -huh. than you would normally. Um, you can keep your partner there and actually get behind so them. Again, using body weight is best. Do you best. think like two of us can connect together? Like, yes, I can, I can literally go on this side. Exactly. And then, yes. and then he pulls. Exactly, and you can switch off. And then I pull him. Yep. Perfect. Is and then there's one? another way to do it, would be just getting oh. around and pushing down onto the shoulders just like that, or using your body weight to help compress. Anyone that does yoga, I'm sure, has had an instructor help them with a the stretch. It's that same idea, same philosophy. And I think that this makes it funner in the salon too when we do something like this because we're team working and it also helps build your mental health. Yeah. Because all day we're tense and I think that's why we get into a bad mood sometimes when we're in between work and we get mad. But once we take a, a couple seconds or a minute to stretch, oh my God, this feels so good. And we'll be a lot more happier. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think this gives you a chance to slow down, take a second for yourself during the day. And when you have a partner, for example, or someone that you're working with, you're, you have that accountability. So you can just kind of remind that person, hey, we didn't get our stretches in today, or hey, we didn't do this today. Because just having that partner there kind of keeps you accountable. And it just helps build a relationship because then you're just doing something other than being in a salon the whole time. Oh, so it just kind of helps everybody. It stops you in your day, get to focus on breathing for a wow. little bit. So nothing but positives can really come from this kind of activity, I, I think. That's I think this is awesome. Derek, Shane, you two have been amazing. I'm gonna start doing this every morning because normally I only think of stretching when I go to the gym. I don't mm -hmm. think about stretching in the morning or stretching before going to work. I think that this is something that we can all take with us so we can actually live a healthier lifestyle. And I think that you become more successful when you're happy. Yeah. A lot of times people think, oh, do more clients, hustle this, hustle that, but you don't realize that, you know, take a step back, breathe, be healthy, take care of this, or our bodies, because this is yeah, all we have. That's all we got, only one. We only have this, this is it. But I think that we, we neglect this, and all we think about is our goals, our ambition, we gotta go work, we gotta work hard, and we, we forget about our, our core, our health, and take care of this, and this will take care of you. Right, guys? Yeah, well, Absolutely. it's just like the, the equipment they use. I mean, your shears and everything like that, if you're not taking care of that on a regular basis, it's not going to work. So if you're not taking care of yourself, you're eventually going to shut down. You know, that's a little dramatic, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it, yeah. It starts to wear down on you over time, just like if you weren't taking care of the stuff that you use Absolutely. In your space. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Shane. Thank you. And Derek, I'm going to leave links below so you guys can stock these hotties. I mean, look at them. Look how cute they are, okay? You can stock them on Instagram and Facebook, whatever, all the links we provide down below. Click thumbs up and subscribe, leave comments, tell me if you like these type of videos because we've been doing a lot of transformation, tutorials, but this is, I wanted to do something different for you guys that that is still hair related and something that will take care of all of us and we're all happy, all right? Love you guys much. <laughs>